Adrian and you'll need to break out your tremolo pedal this week because I'm back with another Cramps song as promised and this is a real Cramps classic, The Human Fly. It's brilliant, it's very easy to play, I think even if you're more or less a total beginner you should be able to get most of this song together. Uh, it's great for kids too, if you've got kids there's no need for them to be playing uh, Michael Row the Boat Ashore or something like that. Get them playing The Human Fly by The Cramps or uh, Rumble by Link Ray. That's certainly what uh, my daughter's going to be playing as soon as she's a little bit older. At the moment she's on the ukulele, but uh, maybe I could get her playing some cramps on the ukulele. Um, there's, an, there's an idea for a YouTube channel. Cramps ukulele covers. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll get around to that at some point. But uh, Anyway, to business. Let me show you how to play this song. We've got two guitarists in the cramps and two guitar parts on this song. There's the twangy tremolo part played by Poison Ivy. This bit. <laughs> And then we've got the fuzzed up rhythm guitar part played by a man called Brian Gregory who was the original Cramps rhythm guitarist. So let's start with the Poison Ivy part and with the opening lick to the song. There's a part that goes like this. And it's just a descending run on the low E string. We're starting up here at the 17th fret. And we're just playing each note four times and just moving down chromatically one fret at a time, basically. So it's just... Until we reach the uh, an octave lower, an A note, an octave lower at the, the, the fifth fret. So I'm, I'm thinking kind of sixteenth notes here. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Something like that. Down up strokes of the pick. I think if you're being pedantic, Poison Ivy kind of goes one sixteenth note early to the to the new note, just, just anticipating the, the beat a little bit. So that's one, two, three, This fifth fret note on the low E string then switches to the to the open A string. You can just hear that because there's a, just just a change in tone between playing the A note here and then playing the open A string. So I think that's that's how Poison Ivy does it. That's the introduction. Then she goes into the main riff of the song, which just goes like this. Just the open A string and then the third fret on the A string, playing each note twice. I'm doing it with down up strokes of the pick. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, Then the, the drums come in and we, we really take this riff kind of through a, a 12 bar blues type progression. So we play it a couple of times on the A string. Then we move it down onto the D string, another couple of bars. Back to the A string. And then the low E string. This is the, the five chord in a 12 bar blues. Back to the A. So that's the complete introduction. Then the vocals enter, we go into a verse and most of that is just on the A string, the same riff. So one. Uh, and that just repeats. I'm not quite sure how many times that repeats. I just kind of listen to the, to the words. I think it's maybe six bars on that. There's a stop. Two, three, four, one. And then we're on to the low E string open low E and then the second fret and then the fourth fret. One and two and three and four and... We go around for another verse and then we hit a kind of guitar solo I suppose or a little instrumental break uh, and that goes like this. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, Then back to the 
back to the main riff. So what's going on there is we've got the open D string. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and this is just chromatically coming down on the G string from the fifth fret, fourth, third, second. Then we're hitting an open A string and we're doing the same idea chromatically descending on the D string. And then that repeats. Open D, two, three, four, one, two, G. Open A, three, four, then on the D string. Two, three, four, one, two. Back to the main riff on the low E string. Then onto the A string. Then the, the whole thing goes round again uh, for, the, for the last verse. And that, that is basically it. Um, there's just a kind of a riff at the very end, which is very similar to the, the intro riff, except we're starting on the 12th fret of the low E string and we're going. down from the 12th fret to the open E string and ending on the open E so and that's about it for the poison ivy part I'm just going to briefly talk about the second guitar part then and this was as I said played by a man called Brian Gregory and you can hear from this song why his playing was so revered by people in the shoegaze scene this is a great wall of fuzz kind of guitar part very much like some of those shoegaze bands very easy to play it's just kind of one four five in the key of a i'm just playing basic power chords here so for a i'm playing root fifth root so it's the fifth fret on the low e seven on the a seven on the d taking that up to the tenth fret for the d chord the four chord and then we've got a bit of E as well, so I'm just going down to the open position. Just an open E chord, probably emphasising just the lower strings in that chord. And that's about it really, it's just following those 1, 4, 5 changes that are outlined by Poison Ivy's guitar part. So from when the, the, the band comes in, from when the drums come in, it just goes like this. It's 2, 3, 4... Up to D. Back to A, B, e, and A. Then the vocals come in, we, we go through the verse, and that's really just all on the one chord, on the A chord. But however long that goes on for, then we stop. Two, three, four, one. And the E leads us back round for a, another verse again. And that, that's more or less it for the, the, the rhythm guitar. But the, the only other thing that's worth pointing out is what's going on during the guitar solo. And there's some great weird chromatic stuff going on in, in this guitar part. And it, it goes something like this. It's two, three, four. What we have there is just the 5th fret on the low E string, played twice, then the 4th fret, back to the 5th fret, 6th, 5, 4, just playing each of those notes twice. Then we're down to the open string and the 1st fret. And that repeats. And then it continues with just chords, I think. So E. 
packed away. For those of you who are interested in the gear I'm using to make this video, I'll just quickly take you through that. Guitar is my Jazzmaster, which is an American 65 vintage, I think it's called. It's just kind of a, a reissue of a 60s Jazzmaster. I had that on the bridge pickup for the Poison Ivy part and on the neck pickup for the Brian Gregory part. From there, amp-wise, I'm going into my Fender Deluxe Reverb, just plugged into the normal channel there. Settings, volume's about three, treble six, bass on four. And for the Poison Ivy part, I was originally going to use the tremolo circuit in this amp, which is great sounding, but unfortunately it didn't quite seem to go fast enough for the, the tremolo effect on this song. So I ended up going into my pedal board here and using what is my favourite tremolo pedal, that's the Full Tone Super Trem, and just took a little bit of time to try and dial that in to match the tremolo sound on the song, and I think it uh, it was fairly convincing. Um, those are the settings that I ended up with. Uh, other effects, I think I had just had a little bit of my uh, J-Rocket Archer on the Poison Ivy guitar part. Then for the, the first guitar part, I broke out the Big Muff, which I haven't used for a while, still sounds great, and I had it set like that, so sustain on full, nice and bright and buzzy as well, tone about 3 o'clock, volume about 10 or 11 o'clock. That's about it for today, have fun with the human fly, if you like what I do, do check out my Patreon page, subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up, blah blah blah, and I'll see you next time, bye bye.